I'm trying to produce a play here? No, uh, not really. No. Oh god. Even a child can see I've lost control of this production. <coughs> hey, Becky, get a grip. Child? Yeah. Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic. Who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Bonita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Bonita to take the stage again. Then you're the star of my show, kid. Uh -huh. Another couple up there. I need the purse tag here. Maybe I should come back later when he's not asleep. He looks too mean to wake up. Everything under control there, Becky? Ah! Why did you say that? Create a lot of tags around. Looks like it needs a candle to work. seen that too many times now. Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. 
Got it. Hey, guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hey, guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's... Oh, that's one. Please, you're making a mess. Hey, watch it, or I'll call security. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when. Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? Sorry, I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want? An autograph? I'm kind of busy here. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of glorious, terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing... Do you have your training on the recording you know? or something? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. So, are you ready for your big number? Did you put a candle in that spotlight and light it yet? No, but I'm about to. So, uh, five minutes, Miss Soleil. Thanks, Sonny. So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. Uh, yeah. yeah, she had that on the recording. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now, where was I? <laughs> Not the world brilliant. <laughs> No, come back here. You serious? There we go. I don't think they really planned this puzzle after the fact that I have a levitation now. Did they? Go.
look alive, people! Bonita Soleil is about to take the stage! Flower girls, in position one. And action! Tonight, I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the hmm. famous actress! In this All nostalgic right. memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! Without her muse, her inner sunshine, the spirit of her youth, played tonight once again by Bonita Soleil. Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me. Not again. Well done. The Phantom. I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace, and it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock him dead, I promise. Mm -hmm. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets, total chaos, or worse. Improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. You told me not to master with it, how could I not just hit the button? Wah ha ha! Welcome to Haggath the Home School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical discipline. Wah ha ha! But I don't want to stay! This seems no, more like no. reality the, 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 there is when you more think about how she is in the unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art. Hot air balloon I need to get to the catwalks. Now, if I could just get them to do a play that brings it down here, All I could right. ride it up to the catwalks to, to get take care of that phantom. I think I missed the part here. I should probably go and uh, talk to...
sailboat ain't coming for you, girly. The mail boat may never come, but I think I see the mail train approaching through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. A dragon? Ah! Ha ha ha! Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Outstanding. Let's go this way so I can talk to her. Now you see, that performance is exactly why we need to practice. Beat it, kid, I'm through. As long as Jasper and that phantom are out there, I'm staying back here, wallowing in my glamorous torment. The show must go on. Yeah, it must go on without me. As long as Jasper rolls and that phantom are out there. Sorry, kid. You're not scared of that phantom, are you? No, it's not him I'm frightened of. It's that fat one who clings to the side of the theater like a blood-swollen tick sucking out its life. Ew. He's always been there, but he wasn't always that big and loud. I couldn't hear him much at all, really, until Gloria's mother hit the stage. He didn't like her performance either? No, I mean hit the stage, curse splat, jump from the catwalks while Gloria was in Paris. Yeah, that's what the janitor said, too. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. If that's the case, let's go back to happy mode. Yes! Nothing else. Yes, yes. Good boy! Ruff! Ruff! Don't give me that either.
Huzzah, forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? The hell? Let us spin and be happy. Entwined uh, in this pole of love. Bad young and twisting. Exactly what everyone wants. Rejoice! For spring has beset in upon ourselves. And the spirit of May is a lingering. Hooray! They're all bad and you should feed it right. Go the resting. I do with you. Can't get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. Dragon. Yon Dragon is a mystical force of the theater. Only theater itself can affect Hey! It. Uh. <laughs> The hey, you said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out, man. I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in and... Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one place. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other place for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through. We're so desperate for new material around here. Mm -hmm. So if I go through now, I go back to... Yeah. So I must find uh, some other play. You said you had something. Can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what am I saying? That's almost impossible! Forget about it! The theater is doomed! Why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the 
You're the phantom. Oh, the is just you? trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines on a shoe. She should quit now while she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The I disagree young boys with that. protests, though heartfelt, quickly They're lapsed into good simplistic good and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking That's at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lines. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just sucks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky, and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Whatever's on stage, I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new right, script, then. everybody. Let's practice. And action! So it doesn't change depending on that, uh, and I said they didn't shouldn't change depending on set. So let's do this. Oh! <laughs> 
Go. Another script. Yes. The day the mailboat finally came. Uh oh. Prop department. I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Laces, everyone. And action. I say, I believe I do see the mailboat approaching. Sorry, no mail for you, ugly girl. Hmm. Wow! <coughs> well done. <laughs> In your face, fatty. We're going to work on this scene, so let's try on the happy one. Didn't really do anything to it. No. Question them, can I? Wrong with the mouse. Mouse. Okay, um. Seem to change something either. It have to be on this thing. The 
sections quite clearly another gate. Maybe I can Another bowl of quality theater? Yes, Not really, sure. But I think that if I find a play that moves the props around in just the right way, I can use them to get up to the catwalks Don't and fight tell the phantom. Him that. Ooh, well, unfortunately for you, that's the last script I'll waste on this theater. I'm saving the rest for Broadway. Of course you are. Stop dancing, Russ. Just rest. dig around the sets. I'm sure you'll find some horrible scripts in there. Oh, except do not do that, because they certainly would not help you get to the catwalks, which are very dangerous anyway. So, give up. So I guess that's a no. Huh. Alright then. Apparently that Princess things about shady manager and rumored lover. Must I truly ship my only daughter Gloria off to hag of the homeschool for girls? Yes, and immediately before she ruins our career. I mean your career. No! Never shall I go! Worry not, baby daughter, for I every day shall write to you. Yes. And I shall mail the letters myself. Personal. Ha <laughs> ha! Possibly the happy version of this. Surfers. Oh, 
Where does this take me? Alright, right on. Hopefully. That means you too, kid. You gotta hustle onto that balloon if you wanna get up to the catwalks. And action! Sigh! When will my mother ever come take me home from this horrible school for girls? Do not worry, for I believe I see them floating here now in a magical balloon. Hey! <laughs> what? There's no magic cloud in this set. No rats. Well, uh, let's just run around happily. Maybe no one will notice. Yeah, okay. That would be the first set. I think they would know this. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes, yes. Assume the negative one for the <laughs> other ones telling the truth. But in this case, the negative ones seem pretty happy. To some extent. Yeah, you know, you make it pretty obvious down there that you are the phantom. You are not welcome here. This is my sanctuary. Sanctuary? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I care. I am 
That's scary, dude. <laughs> I see. Ah, shit. I didn't pay any attention to that part. What's your step? Thank you very much. I win. Get up there. Look out below. <laughs> this hat box needs a hat box now. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's really dark. Go the wrong way. <laughs> you are not welcome. This Hip. is my sanctuary. Hip. Hip. Come no closer, or it will be the last thing I know. Hmm. I got the tag, but not the bags. Holy fuck. This guy's so big. Ah, oh, fuck. Another one. I see you down there. No, get away from me. Look out below! Oh, 
shit. Here we go. Let's see the phantom in the flesh tonight. Not quite yet. Let's see. Still have his Stop, voice. or your next step will be your last. Watch it. Hmm. Yes. Ah, cruel sunlight. Anything but that. No, treacherous child. You shall pay for angering. The yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put yeah, so I can come exactly. punch and unmask you. Okay, Phantom, it's time to find out who you really are. Yeah. What? It was obvious, but... I totally guessed that. Yeah. Uh-uh, you said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never! How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years! Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and... thin. He could never be you. Why, you... Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full, destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> uh -huh. hmm, how can I say this and still say Sure thing, buddy. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Yeah, that may hurt a bit. I just realized where the last bag is. I guess I can't go there right now. Oh well. I still got the bag tag, so I should be fine. Uninspired and flat. Your moves are derivative and mechanical. No, your technique is bland, but irritating. 
serious thing. this again though. Why didn't I bring my son? I'll kill him! Get him! Hey! Hey! Come on. One spotlight! Take that wretched regurgitator of the sun! This reminds me of uh, that's like Cooper Bus. Um, Your fighting is weak, sword uninspired, and flat. You need that to uh, destroy his guns with light. Your moves are derivative and mechanical. Yeah! <laughs> That light! You 
Shoot him before he gets over here! Time to say goodbye, bastard. Hey. What's the matter? You get the found stuff. Take a little criticism. You get found stuff for me. Are you dead yet? Don't need to be so rude. You better listen to me. You're no good. This place stinks. It's worse than ever before. Oh, I can't believe you call this theater. I, I can't even see it from down here, but I know it's bad. Can you hear me? Oh, you've got fat arms. You hear me? Big fat arms like a wrestler and a little cheeky double hanging from your neck. And he's your thinking knees are ugly. Milk. And you snort when you laugh. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I need to redo the boss. It's fresh on me again, but handsome. The spotlight. It went quickly. I believe I shall happily retire while I'm still young. Yeah, sure. Finally. I don't need to read the for my quite again. Talents. Attack! No, wait! Don't listen to him! Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory! Oh, shut up, you loon! The battle can't be won! We're gonna lose it! I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Yeah, it seems now, many down people over have there. lost it here. I am the orderly, Probably because of the same as same as I am. Insane asylum. Understood? Oh, now, see? You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. Ha <laughs> ha! Le jour de gloire est arrivé! Whatever. Sneeze huh. this one through that helmet, we'll never know. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. We don't, uh, yep. it just get stuck there. Ah, oh, look at that. Yep. No, seriously. Yeah. 
but we don't have Mikhail yet. Where's Mikhail? Is that the Russian? Le fire! The fire. Get him. Greetings, Dr. Lobotta. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? Uh, sure. One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Lobotto. You don't pay my salary, so can oh, you back right. off my elevator and die? Thank you, sir. Sure. And also fall! Hmm. Four brain cells. He used to be just an average loon. Didn't embarrass. Excuse me, sir. My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse oh, me. Good move, mate. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh. I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. I like your jacket. Very strappy. You yeah. want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back, and I'll. Get... What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly until uh -huh. the battle is over. Help me. Yes. Yeah, sure everybody... thing, buddy. I help you. Go. Is every. Sacre bleu! I have been hit. <laughs> <laughs> 